What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a, another vacuum face-off, which I decided to title this Battle of the Jet Flows. Right here I've got my three vintage Panasonic machines, my Jet Flow Model MC-6225, my Jet Flow Model MC-6255, excuse me, and my Panasonic Performance Plus model MC-6347. And now I say Battle of the Jet Flows, but that one's not branded Jet Flow, but I've seen older variations of this branded as a Jet Flow. And all vacuums do have their similarities. For one, all three vacuums are from the from the from the 90s, 80s era. Both have clutch operated brush rolls. Both have very sh uh, optional hose attachments. And all of them do have motors that are under 10 amps. The, the blue jet flow has a seven amp motor. The, the gray or the beige jet flow has uh, an eight amp motor. The Performance Plus has an 8.5 amp motor. All machines take take Type U bags. All of them do have the fingertip on off switch. And there's really not that much to compare about, about these machines. So let's just get right to the contest. We're gonna start off with the Blue Jet Flow. And to keep this contest fair, since this one has a variable speed motor, I'm going to operate it on high speed. Show you its agitation. Very nice. The water is shaking around up there. Left almost nothing behind. bit of specs that was left over. All right, that was the the 6225. Now let's go ahead and do the beige jet flow, the MC 6255. Switch it on. Left nothing behind. There was just a small little line of shame, just like the other jet flow. That was the the Jetflows MC6255. Now we'll go ahead and do the Performance Plus, the MC6347. Switch it on. Nothing behind, but it did have a little bit of a line of shame.
right. Now that was part one of the vacuum test. Now we are going to do part two, which should hopefully make things interesting. Is we did the carpet performance test. Now, in this section, I'm going to be doing tool airflow test. Go and get the hoses. Well, now we're going to get the the only hose kit that I've got. Which I'll go ahead and screw the end on so it doesn't come out. And do the blue jet flow first. Now the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna attach both extension wands like so and I'll be doing this test with the upholstery tool. I'll we'll go ahead and turn this on. that off and set it to the side and I just moved around accidentally some of the dirt particles for the beige jet flow now let's go ahead and switch on over to it hook the hose in get the hose out of that tangled plant now we're going to power this up that back on would we'll set it to the side for now also let's go ahead and close up the the hose port for the blue jet flow before we forget and lastly let's go ahead and hook this end it's very hard to keep this thing steady up into the performance plus I like how universal this hose is so it fits any Panasonic upright let's go ahead and try it Machines did very nice and close it up and now for the final part of the test I'm going to be doing a bare floor performance test on all of these Panasonic's to show you just how good they perform now as starters we're going to do the blue jet flow first you turn it on Simply switch this on over to the bare floor. fair none of these vacuums have even distribution of suction so everything goes off to the right of the machine now let's go and do the 
the beige jet flow. Push in the bear forward. Let's see what it picks up. That one did pretty decent, although I think the the blue jet flow beat this one. But lastly, let's do the performance plus. Switch it to bare floor. everybody through that 11 long 11 minute long video that was the comparison cleaning performance wise on carpet bare floor and tool airflow of these three Panasonic uprights the two jet flows and the performance plus hope you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to like rate comment and subscribe Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.